Hurdles is a track game where you sprint and jump over hurdles to get to the finish line. Momentum. Momentum, the quantity of motion moving body. Momentum equals mass times velocity. My first example of momentum during the hurdle race is in the beginning, you are going to run as fast as you can, sprint, and you are going to be gaining momentum. As you see, they are running as fast as they can to gain the most momentum they can to jump over the hurdle. My second example of momentum is once the competitors jump over the hurdle and land on the ground, their speed is going to decrease, causing their momentum to decrease. When you watch this video, you may not see the momentum uh, decrease, but it is happening. The momentum will decrease right now. Acceleration. Acceleration is the change in velocity, either speed or direction. My first example with acceleration is in the beginning of the race, when they try to gain momentum, they are accelerating. As they are sprinting, they are accelerating. This is positive acceleration, because they are gaining speed. My second example with acceleration is, once the competitors jump over the hurdle and land, they are going to decelerate, which is negative acceleration, because they are decreasing their speed and also decreasing their momentum. Once they land, they'll decelerate. Newton's first law of motion. An object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. My example with Newton's first law is, let's say you are running to jump over the hurdle, and once you jump and you're airborne, let's say a piece of your clothing or your foot gets caught into the hurdle. Once you get caught into the hurdle, according to Newton's first law, you are not going to be put in the same motion as you were. You are going to be put to rest, hopefully not on the hurdle, like you see in this picture. Newton's second law of motion. Force equals mass times acceleration. My example with Newton's second law is that assuming that your mass is constant throughout the race, you need to exert enough vertical force to jump over the hurdle, but in order to get this force, you need to accelerate to your max speed. So to sum it all up, your constant mass and your high acceleration all put together will equal a higher takeoff force to jump over the hurdle. Newton's third law of motion. Any action has an equal and opposite reaction. My first example for Newton's third law is that once you jump over the hurdle, you may feel a pain or weakness in your knees. And you will also slow down. This is because, since Newton's third law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction, when you jump, and exert your force down, the ground is going to push up a, the same amount of newtons, but up towards you, which is why you may feel the sensation of a pain or weakness in your knees. And this is also why you are going to slow down. And that is my first example. My second example for Newton's third law of motion is exactly when you run. When you run, your weight is being put down and exerted down onto the earth. So every time you take a stride or a step, right now my weight is being pushed down onto the earth. But since every action is an equal and opposite reaction, the ground is going to put push the same amount of newtons up towards my feet. Since this is happening, I am able to push myself off to keep on running. And this is how people run. Friction. A force that opposes another force, also called a resistant force. Okay, so friction. An example of friction is um, while you're running in the race, while you're airborne, and also while you are running, there is friction with the wind resistance. The uh, wind resistance will push against you, which may slow you down a little bit while you are running. But stronger winds will affect you. This is the reason why you will see uh, Olympic players wear uh, tight shorts and a tank top that is not loose and messy and all over the place so that the wind resistance won't affect them as much, like you will see in this picture. Gravity 
the force of attraction between two bodies of mass. Go! Center of gravity. The area where the majority of the mass in a body is located. An example of center of gravity is when during a hurdle race, some of the competitors, they will keep the center of gravity in the same position or at a constant level from the ground, uh, which is usually their stomach area. As sometimes you will see the good uh, competitors, they will not run in a sloppy manner because once they run in a sloppy manner, their uh, center of gravity position keeps on changing. Once your center of gravity position keeps changing, your muscles get tired out of making potential energy which will soon be lost. From the videos we watched so far, have you seen any of the competitors run with their uh, body forward or backwards or changing constantly? Velocity. Speed in a given direction. Example 1. As the runners are increasing their speed, they are also running in a straight line to keep themselves inside their own lane. Force A push or a pull Example 1 during the race, your body is subjected to three forces. These three forces are 1. Wind resistance, 2. The resistance of the ground as described in Newton's third law, and 3. Gravity. Thank you for watching a quarantine production.